Alright, welcome back guys. Today is going to be a simple, quick one. Um, tomorrow I'm going to give you the more in-depth, or like part 2 of this. But for now let's do something simple and quick, uh, and it's called input systems. So let's just create a node dummy in our game. And I'm just going to call it the input manager, or main character would be easier. Because we're just going to create an input system. An input system is basically a system in which you communicate with the game, where if you press a button, it accepts it, and if you uh, hold a button or do something, the computer realizes, okay, this guy pressed the button, he wants me to do this. So in our case, let's just have main character here. Let's make him in a zero zero position, and we're not gonna we're not going to populate him yet, but at least let's get some code in here. So right click, create code, and C sharp component. Let's just call it the input controller, I guess. It's gonna be a simple controller uh, code that we're gonna use to uh, basically affect our game. Uh, I might make a more advanced controller and just give it away but I'll see what I can do with that. So input control controller, and here we are. So in input controller, we don't really need to initialize anything, or to be honest, we don't really need to do much, but let's just do something. So first things first, we're going to do a simple if command. So I'm just gonna do an example of one button, and it's going to be, I guess, X. We'll use X. All right, so input, dot is and now we have six options and three of them are repeated so first things first we have three options that are keys meaning the keyboard and three options that are mouse meaning the mouse button itself now the main thing is down pressed and up what do they mean the down means we clicked on it once the pressed means we have been holding that key and up means we let it go so let's say if I just wanted to do input dot is key down I just want to press it once or like let the computer detect I pressed it once so we're just gonna go in here we're gonna go back into this and we're going to do dot key dot and we're gonna choose a key so now we're gonna let's say for example I'll just do the same X all right, so when we press X, let's have it tell us something. So we just do log.message, and then I'm just gonna say X pressed. Good enough. So that's the down button. Let's just copy paste, and then we do is key pressed, and is key up, and let's just change these to C and V, just like my other tutorial. If you guys watch the C++ one, you'll see uh, that it's almost the same, except less writing here. Uh, now we have a full control. Now let's say we wanted to also use a mouse. So let's just change here. Is mouse button down. For now, let's just do down, and we'll do input dot, one second mouse underscore button and then we just press dot and it's going to ask you which button so d click is double click left middle right and these are auxiliaries so if you have extra buttons on your keyboard it's going to accept those for now let's just do left and we say left mouse button pressed now i'm also going to add a forward slash n on all of them all right and with that Let's run it. So now we're here. Every time I press the mouse button, it's gonna accept it. If I press X just once, it will accept it. While I hold it, it won't really accept it because that's not what we asked it for. But for C, as long as I hold it, it's gonna detect that I pressed it. As for V, even if I press it, it doesn't work. But once I release it, then it detects it that I released the button. So that's it 
for input systems. If you want to read more, you could always go over here and take a full look at what type of buttons they are and what functions they have. But for the basics, we got our controller ready. We can change for homework. You guys can change these to WASD and I don't know, whatever you like, but figure it out. That's about the easiest stuff. And tomorrow, I'm going to make for physics slash translate controller uh, where we actually use these to move like our main character and we're just gonna make the main character like a box or something but for that I leave you with a simple small tutorial and I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>